always telling you, you know, there's a plan, we're going to do this, we're going to earn the people. There's always someone who said, we don't got no money. Mm -hmm. All we have to worry about is God's mercy and God's grace. God is as long as you are on God's timetable. You're in the right place at the right time. You don't have to worry about the resources. You don't have to worry about how you're going to get there from here. You don't have to just remember who it is that you're worshiping. You are worshiping the God of this universe that spoke and the word left into existence. He separated the light from darkness. And he said that he knows you even before you were formed in your mother's womb. He said he knows every hair on the top of your head. Hallelujah. Well, it's all right. That's all right. But we're no different from this man. No. There was a time when we were on the outside yes. looking in. Yes. Thanks be to God Thank you, that a preacher or someone who knew God mm -hmm. invited us and we ended up into the pews and experienced and still experiencing the healing to be included in the church. Mm -hmm. Still experiencing. Yes, we, we jump for joy. People wonder why we, we shout and throw our hands up. Even in the time of mourning, our hands are still held high because we're in the right place at the right time. We often think of ourselves as joining the church in the fashion of a consumer choosing a restaurant at which to dine or a store <laughs> I wish we wanted to shop. I just want to remind you something. That the rock of the church yeah. mm -hmm. took us by the right hand. Yes, 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 yes. Lifted us up and escorted us into the worshiping community. Yes, we did. And to help us celebrate that we're included in the body of Christ by grace instead of our own will. Yeah. This miracle occasion the gathering of a crowd. From the very beginning of the church, Christians have been engaged in crowd evangelism or mass evangelism. We have an, an event, in this case, a healing that gathers a crowd and we use the occasion to seek and to evangelize. Yeah. The man rose and began to leap uh -huh. and jump and shout, mm -hmm. trying out his brand new legs. <laughs> he, better leap. He, was, he was trying out the brand new legs uh -huh. yeah. because he was lame from birth. Uh -huh. No wonder uh -huh. it had an amazing effect upon yeah. him, the people. Yeah. There was an immediate twofold effect. These people were convinced beyond a shadow of doubt uh -huh. that God was at work. They, they heard this done, saw it done, and was it, and it was done in the name of Jesus. That's right. Jesus, that name which signifies all that Christ is. Uh -huh. So the name of Jesus is not a magic formula that Peter uses here to produce a miracle. Peter is saying, this is the power on who I am depending. Yeah. Uh -huh. I am not relying on silver and gold. Right. That is not what I need. Yeah. Really, I'm not counting on what uh, on, on the resources from which I draw. The only yeah, resource right. I draw from is Christ. Yeah. Yes. You know, the, the, the beggar probably needed some food and some clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Peter offers him yes. the ability. Yes. To walk, yes. to run, yes. to leave. Yes. Yes. He offers him the authority and power and the resources of the, same, of the name of Jesus and all that Jesus was working through Peter at that time. That is exactly what the church is called to do. What Christians are called to do. To declare our bankruptcy in the realm of the material. Mm -hmm. The basic call of the church is to release the life of God. To declare the power of God. And to make it available to men what only God can do. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This is what happened here. These people saw it and were convinced that God was at work. 
and they were prepared to listen to an explanation. Mm -hmm. This job over here. Almost, there. Almost at the end. <laughs> Luke wasn't just writing this symbol symbolically. It literally happened, but it has well, significance yeah. for all of us. Yes, it summarizes yes. and represents this beautiful thing that happened to us when we find Christ. Yes. Yes. You see, we are sitting helplessly in front of the beautiful gate, so close to the presence of God and yet so far away. Oh, wow. oh, oh. We are damaged, damaged from birth, mm -hmm. unable to walk with, with him, with Christ. We're spiritually needy. We're beggars. Then someone comes by with the message of the gospel. Right. We look. Sure. We're healed. Sure. And a great irreversible miracle occurs in our life. Mm. We cannot enter the temple and come into God's presence. So we do so with enormous joy and praise. We join other Christians in the church. Oh, Our miracle becomes an occasion yeah. for the proclamation of the gospel. Yeah. That's why when God does something for you, yeah. you can't stay silent. Yeah. You, come, you just can't wait to tell somebody yeah. about the goodness of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You got to tell somebody what God is. And you know, there are times when you know there is no one else but God that could have done that. And I got to tell somebody something. Somebody, yeah. and people want to, uh, Hallelujah. That's all right. That's all right. I'm going to close yeah. uh -huh. The lame right. man found himself in the right place at uh -huh. the right time. Mm -hmm. We are encouraged, and many of our heroes in the Bible shows us how to be in the right place mm -hmm. well, at the right time. At the right time. Uh -huh. Abraham, mm -hmm. he was told by God. To pack up and leave everything that he, that he was familiar with and to go to a place that he, God, would show him. Mm -hmm. he, he obeyed and found himself in the right place uh -huh. at the right time. Mm -hmm. And if that wasn't enough, God promised him that he was going to have a child. Yes. What, him mm -hmm. and his wife? Uh -huh. Abraham, he was in the right place at the right time. When God says, <laughs> You go sacrifice yourself, mm. and he went, my, my. and God provided a ram. Yeah. Moses was on the backside of the desert yeah. uh -huh. when he saw the burning bush. He was in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. at the, right time. Mm -hmm. the children of Israel at the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. yeah. They were in the right place at the right time. Moses says, stand back and see the on, glory on, of the Lord. And he stretched out that rod and God built a highway through the middle of the ocean. Job is presented as a good and prosperous family man who is beset by Satan with God's permission with horrendous disaster that take away all that he holds there, including his offspring, his health, and his property. Because he was in the right place at the right, at the right time. You know the story? Yes. Mm -hmm. David was in the right place at the right time. Again, there's so much about David, I just had to pick one of them and I, yeah. I mean, I've been here for a long time trying to talk about David. Yeah. He was in the right place at the right time mm -hmm. and thus was able to slay Goliath. Yeah. 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 Isaiah was in the right place uh -huh. at the right time. Yeah. When he looked and saw the Lord sitting upon his yeah. throne, yeah. high yeah. and lifted up, yeah. and his train filled the temple. Yeah. Ruth was in the right place uh -huh. at the right time. Mm -hmm. To meet her king's name, redeemer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's Zacchaeus. Yeah. It, he was in the sycamore tree. Yeah. And it was the right place yeah. at the right time. That's the right place.
the way. She was in the right place at the right time. You know, she said, she meant to come see a man who told me all the battle.